Get Inspired, Miss Shanna. I'm Diane Bennett with Inspired Homes in both Michigan and Indiana, and today we're gonna to talk about repair negotiations. So in a home buying experience, in a home selling experience, an inspector will come and inspect the house after buyer and seller have agreed to a price. And when that inspector sends their, and usually several inspectors, when they send their reports over to the buyer, the buyer and the buyer's agent are gonna review those reports and look at things that might need repaired. So whose responsibility is it to fix the repairs that the inspector discovered? Well, so there's several things you want to take into effect. Number one, you got to gauge the severity. So the purchase agreement in Indiana and in Michigan or any other state you're dealing with is different, how it works and what's on it. And you have to gauge the severity of the repair itself. So does it need a new roof or a new furnace? Or is it just the doorbell doesn't work, you know? So those are some things to factor. The buyer needs to work very closely with their agent and find out what is kind of common for the area. Is this something that every buyer would ask for if the septic failed? Yes, every buyer is going to ask for that. And so seller sometimes depends on, you know, what was the market condition at the time of the sale? Was it a totally strong seller's market and the seller feels like I don't have to fix anything? But if it's something like a failed septic and they have to fix it for any buyer, then that's something that they may still have to fix. So that's kind of the, you know, the, the negotiating part comes with the severity of the repair, what's the market conditions, what was the condition, was there a multiple offer situation, or did the seller come way down on purchase price because they knew that the condition was going to need some stuff. So, and it's all in about your negotiations. If you remember when you were the buyer, work with your buyer's agent very closely and, and you've got to let them know what you are and are not willing to deal with when the when the the transaction is said and done. So just remember, if you care the least, sometimes you win the most. If you don't mind if some things are not perfect, you got a great price for it, then go ahead and buy the house and make those repairs after the fact. Or if you are the seller and you don't mind going back on market, you had multiple offers and you don't mind going back, that's totally your prerogative. Your agent, whether you're the buyer or the seller, your agent's gonna be able to work with you and let you know what is best for you. Is it not, you know, maybe when you got your offer, if you're a seller, it was, a multiple offer situation, but it's been a couple months while we were waiting to get inspections done and the um, reports back and the loan process going. And then maybe now the market's not the same. So there's not as many buyers out there. So you're going to want to talk with your agent in either situation. So hopefully that helps you with your negotiating of repairs. Remember, work closely with your agent on whatever side you're on. And thanks always for watching Tuesday Tips. If you have some other questions you'd like us to talk about on Tuesday Tips, please message us here and we would love to take care of those for you. Thanks and have a great day.